Right, today, let me introduce you a new Inca DVD player. Yeah, it's here. The power and the connectors and the cables, the frame, SD card, the iPhone, and a 3G dongles here, and a stylus, remote control. This is for iPod touch cable, the same as this one. And this is the Wi Fi USB dongle and stylus. And the English user manuals. Yes. Okay. This is a Digital TV antenna and uh, this is a GPS antenna FMA connector same as this one FM connector okay so now we are oh this is another one also is the AV cables we now put the reverse camera and the AUX AV in AU uh, audio video out to your headrest uh, or roof set monitors. Now let me let me sit down to introduce you this set. Let's off it first. Press and hold. Okay. Let's turn it on. Now the set is totally off. Press and hold. It's on. We use this stylus to control this touch screen. This is the starting page. You can uh, self-define de it. You can use your own car logos or any picture files. Okay, now the starting one is we set to the digital TV. Let's take a look this digital TV first. Okay, this is your remote control. Okay, let's try. Okay, it's digital 5 channel in Singapore. This is digital 8. It's same as the uh, channel 8. Uh. Digital channel 5. Channel News Asia. So in Singapore, only got 3 channels can be viewed on the road. It's sharp and clear. And if you want to turn down the volume a little bit, you just slide this bar. Right. If you want to mute it, click it. Right? And you can also control here. You can press these two buttons to control the volume. Okay, let's take a look at the other features of this product. First, the DVD player. Okay, when you get this there, there are two screwdrivers, it's fastened one and two so we need to use the screwdriver to to take these two uh, protections out yeah but before you install this step into your head you uh, uh, into your car you better look uh, remove these two screws first okay then you install it okay let's also take a look at this back rear view this is a this is a GPS antenna and this is a digital TV antenna this is the radio antenna the sticker one this is for iPod touch and the 3G internet Wi-Fi internet and some drive cables is here we have two connectors 
Uh, this is for i this is for iPod, iPhone, iPad. This is for thumb drive, USB dongles, and these cables are power cables. So we connect this power uh, DC power 12 volts to these two cables connection, and these two cable. These two cable, I think. These two cable is for the speaker. Now we use a simple speaker for demonstration purpose. Okay, let's go back to this machine. We study again. Okay, I forgot to tell you this. There's a frame. Yeah, there's a frame. Sometimes you need it. Some car don't need. Can fix it like this. Okay, we take it out. Okay, let's continue our testing on this. Okay, this is disc. In. Then he will start to read the disc. Okay, it can play DVD, CD, VCD, every disc uh, in, in this world now, but not the Blu-ray, uh, Blu yeah? Okay, let's go on to test other features. Okay, radio. Let's turn on the volume a little bit. This is BBC News, what? And this is the... Let's check other... Yes, 93.3 Okay, let's check these other channels Ah, it's XFM 963 okay all the channels are here and we go back to the rest of this okay this is a TV okay just now we already show you the TV the digital TV yeah Singapore follow the in uh, England uh, okay next channel these two buttons also can control the volume of the volume of the TV you see yes okay let's go back to this Bluetooth you can use a Bluetooth hands-free call when you are driving so now we open our mobile phone go back uh, go to the general Bluetooth. We turn the Bluetooth on. Okay. Then he's the the is searching the Bluetooth devices. It's not there. We click it. We try to pair with this uh, head unit. Okay. He pop up a. Uh, pin number one two three four is a default pin number. We pair it. Uh, we take a note of this place. After it's connected, the Bluetooth icon will pop up. That means the head unit is connected with this iPhone. Okay, let's try to make a phone call. Eight four one four nine five four zero. Dale. Okay, you see my iPhone is also dialing out. Okay. Ah, 
this is the AUX left and the right in this is AUX video in so these three cables can be used as a external AV signal then if for example you have a uh, other TV tuner or DVD player or M media player you want to play this source into this double thing then you can use make use of these three parts okay then you uh, switch to the AUX you will see the video and uh, to listen to the music uh, the, the audio from these sources okay let's check the movie okay before we check the movie we have prepared a movie car here so we need to open this slot a bit then we plug into this SD card okay remember this SD card slot is for media files this SD card slot is for GPS navigation software it's here we also plug in here one two okay now we see two SD card <coughs> the storage car means the right hand side the storage car too is the left hand side so let's check these movies on this car okay there are some popular AVI uh, file format one is a movie file let's check this is a incoming movie are you excited for tomorrow is tomorrow Saturday no it's the first day of school yeah, I'm not gonna go to that. But it's mandatory. It's sharp and clear. It's 1080p. High definition movie. Elizabeth, you shouldn't be teaching. I mean, I can't think of anyone less suited to being a teacher. I don't need a blackboard or a classroom to set an example. So stupid. Morons! Hey, Elizabeth. Okay, like if you, you want to move. I am, yeah. Last year's car wash raised $6,000. Let's do this. Whoa. Lauren Rislin's dad called. He said we should have a car wash every weekend. That's Buckhart! There is no way that LeBron will ever be Jordan. Call me when LeBron has to Okay, let's take a look at the other movie. It's RMVB file. Also very popular, it's online format, real media. Is the ice age. Let's see this interesting part. Very you. Okay, play. This is Ice Age. And let's check out this AVI file. It's most commonly used popular format. Full screen. Okay, the next one is the MKV file. It's the latest uh, uh, movie file. Also, 1080p. It's high definition, full HD format.
message. From the universe? From a messenger. Oh, yeah, of course. Our greatest masters are disappearing. I fear this is the work of Lord Shen. Who has unleashed a new kind of threat on our world. This could be the end of Kung Fu. But I just got Kung Fu! And now you must save it. Take the five. It is time for the next phase of your journey. My Let's check the justice. MP4 file. Great. But the very best thing is that he listens to you. Because nothing means more than for a Actually, all the file support. All the supportive file from now is listed in our website. You can check this road and protocol. It's official online website of these road and prayer devices. Okay, let's check other features like photos. Okay, let's see how this photo this oh, sorry. We use this storage car. We have some photo prepare here. Pictures. Uh, this is a high definition one. Okay, let's see this beautiful lady. Where's my remote? Okay, here. It's full screen. Okay, next one. It's sharp, clear, right? Oh, it's it's double helix bridge of Singapore. It's a uh, Marina Bay uh, Sands Casino. Ah, beautiful. Okay. You can prepare your own photos inside and you can slideshow this. And you can also set as a logo, starting page. Uh, you set it to the desktop. Set to the desktop, it's a background. Okay, music. Let's check some music. Here we are. Media, music. Okay, first MP3 file. It's a happy new year song. Okay, let's see some Singapore local music. Okay. Let's go back to This program. This is for 3G, the most attractive point part of this device. Okay, we have two functions, uh, two connections. Connect these devices to internet. One is this through this USB uh, wi Wi-Fi dongle. Okay, the other is that this. Uh, 3G internet USB dongle. They are the same kind inside, see? It's Huawei uh, model E1550 HSDP USB disk a stick. Okay. One, two, 3G Wi Fi. And here we have the connector. Okay, let's try this uh, 3G first. Okay, let's try this 3G first. We plug in first. Okay, you we see there's a light is blinking now. And uh, we mute this one to make my voice clear. Okay, e every carrier or the SIM card provider will have a specific APN. Oh, let's remove it first. Actually, when you get it, it there's nothing here so you need you need to set username password APN and a phone number okay usually for the APN a uh, different com different uh, sim card provider has different uh, APN so for this M1 company we have this SunSurf if you don't know your sim card provider you check with them just make phone call they 
ask them what's the uh, APN or the user word, username and password. The phone number usually and think in most of this world they use star nine nine hex. Sorry, it's hex. Okay, after you set, then you can press connect. Open port. Then port open, authenticated. For this uh, M1, huh? no need to import any username and uh, password. And uh, now it's connected. Then we see here is a 3G uh, letters showing uh, the GPS is now 3G connected. And now we are trying to surf the internet. Uh, the easiest way is the Google. Huh? We try the Google first. Okay, we try to search something. For example, the Singapore Shin MSN. Shin MSN. Done. Then Google search. Okay. Yeah, quite fast, huh? We zoom in a bit. Okay. Then we see this uh, search result, right? Okay. This is a Google, and you can also use the Opera to serve well, browse the internet. Now you see that this 3G don't go is uh, the light is on, huh? that means the 3G connection is is, is on. Uh, you can also open the Word file, Excel file, and PDF file. And there's a button here. Let's try this function. We press and hold for a while, then you will pop up a, a, a dialog asking you to choose something. Okay, we have this CE toolbar we use this toolbar to save it okay now actually this is a, a, a Windows CE uh, based uh, software it's called toolbar we press it okay we, sh we see a toolbar here now the internet connection is established okay we try this MSN here right is signing I'll wait for a while the missing of this window C yeah, is is a bit slow but after signing it's fast Okay, let's connect the 3G in the internet. Let's go back to Wi-Fi. Uh, disconnect. Okay, we unplug this M1 3G USB dongle. Plug in the Wi-Fi USB dongle. It's here. It's 50, 54 megabytes per second. And after it's plugged in, we see there's a Wi-Fi. Ah, so many Wi-Fi connections. Uh, we try. Yeah, we can try our iPhone's Wi-Fi hotspot. Right. Okay. Our Wi hotspot. Personal hotspot. And turn this personal hotspot on. Okay, our hotspot name is yeah is it should be here. It should be showing here. Let's check where it is. Sorry, where it is. Okay, let's refresh it by unplug, then plug in again. Then we will have this uh, my Wi Fi hotspot. 
Oh yeah, it's here. This is my Wi-Fi hotspot. Our my password is naked zero a a one. N e c k e d zero eight eight one. Okay. Then connect to. Now it's. Here we show a uh, personal hotspot one connection. Uh, he said authentication fail. Oh my god. Seems my password is wrong. I'll try again. N E C K E D. N E C K E D. Zero. Eight, eight, one. Okay. The sign means, yeah, it's connect to this iPhone. I think it's connected. Okay, we can check by the Internet Explorer. Yeah. You can search. You can see this Google. That means we can use the, for example, Gmail. We try check the Gmail, right? Press OK. Yeah, you can check email on your way. Yeah, press yes. Yeah, your Google account, user password. Then you can log in, lah. Uh. Okay, let's open the MSN here. Now it's signing in. Yeah, I also sign in uh, my the other MSN. We can check online to see whether it's working or not. already sign in. Okay, here we also sign in. Uh, this guy is trying to help me. I cancel it first. Okay, let me send a message to this road emperor. Send. Okay, I'm missing. Ah, it's come out. See? It's Dong says, Where can I purchase this wonderful DVD player? Ha ha. Okay, let's open the keyboard. Let's try to chat with. Uh, backspace. You. Then. Buy. Hey, sorry. B U I E R W W W dot row M R dot com. Aha, it's come out, see. So we are we are doing the online chatting in MSN. We hide the keyboard first. We hide the keyboard, then we close the chatting dialog. Okay. We can no. We try the Wi-Fi. We disconnect the 3G. It's off. The light is off. Okay, it's disconnected. And there's no 3G here. I close the MSN. Close the toolbar. Okay, then we exchange this uh, Wi Fi USB dongle. Okay. Yeah, he, here, here we go. We saw this uh, RT2A701 
uh, Wi-Fi USB dongle okay actually it's already connect to the TP link uh, loader which is here you see it's here this one is a loader okay let's check our internet connection is it working or not Uh, Google is out. It's okay. If you want to check the email, then you click the Gmail. Ah, yes. Yes, you can log in your Gmail account mm, here. You zoom in a bit. See? Okay, close it. That means the Wi Fi also can be used. And if you don't want don't don't want this one no don't want to use the 3G one then you you can use your if you have an iPhone you can use the iPhone's hotspot sharing then share the Wi-Fi to the head unit then you can use this uh, as a moving internet uh, car PC and surf internet from by Wi-Fi or by 3G. Okay the next one is the setup actually it's a setting uh, all the uh, settings of this uh, DVD player okay the this is a factory defaults calibration this is for touch screen calibration and this is a navy pass you can set the navigation software pass by press this button but make sure your D, uh, the GPS software is loaded in the storage card on the right hand side instead of the uh, left hand side eh? left hand side is for movie player and uh, this is the equalizer uh, this is system this is the equalizer I mean you can move the sound a little bit back or, or this is a tremble and uh, tremble and bass you can move this sound back and front okay or left or left and right then this is displays uh, brightness, the screen's brightness, contrast, saturation, hue, and the color settings, and the time zone. You can set the day, time, and the uh, time zone. This is for the. This is also very uh, interesting one. If your car has a steering control buttons, there's a little buttons on your steering wheel. Then you can make use of these buttons to control this double ding unit okay the volume up the volume down for example you want to uh, set the button as a volume up then you press this button okay there's a they, they will show a volume plus then you press the button on your uh, 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 steering wheel the volume button will be learned by this head unit and next time after set you can use the steering wheel control Dale hand play return band band is a switch the FM and AM band the power new mode mode is switching between these functions the DVD uh, the radio TV etc and this is a preview of the previous one next one is you save and if you save then everything save okay cancel okay the last one is a UI it's a user interface this is for the starting page logo setting you can press this one then you can find this in ND then you can choose any car logos in this N A N D and logos like Audi, BMW, B uh, a lot of Honda, Hongqi, Nissan, Piago ah, a lot of Toyota everything here and this is a background picture. You can also choose from that and a back image. It's a PNG file. Uh, other files are not supported. You need to make it a PNG file. Okay. And this is theme. Now we are using this arrow theme. Uh, actually, there's another theme. It's called default theme dot UI. If you choose the default, uh, uh, the, if you choose the the other theme, the, the system will uh, reboot then the scene will be changed after the reboot and this button is for uh, left hand side okay this guy is talking to me 
no problem this button is for left hand side control or right hand side control for example uh, in Singapore the driver sit in the right hand side so you, you choose this one because all the control panels will be on the right hand side of the screen which is near to the driver okay so the all the setup are, okay this is a, a new feature if we done this is a menu menu icon you can switch you can choose any sequence you like if if you find uh, some function are more uh, important for you then you you switch these orders uh, make it easy access okay let's go to the navigation the last one also a very important one okay now we use this iGo Primote to show you the navigation function of this double ding DVD player the screen is 7 inch the resolution is 800 times 480 and for the GPS the comport is uh, the comport is number 2 comport 2 the battery is 9600 BPS okay this is the latest navigation software uh, it's called Primo show map okay the, the GPS signal is already fixed we can see from these two uh, dots if it is uh, two uh, three, do uh, three dots uh, that means the signal is very strong and we can search any places in uh, in many ways uh, one is find address okay this is a GPS huh? okay let's see something more for example there are settings calculations picture viewer converter country information for example in Singapore you can check the maximum blood alcohol content is 0 a per meal per milli so uh, do not do not drink while you're driving okay let's see the about it's primo latest version okay if you find by this address the first one is a Singapore so we load uh, quite a lot of uh, maps sing Australia Indonesia Malaysia Brunei Singapore Thailand actually all inside huh? Hong Kong, Macau, New Zealand, Taiwan. Ten countries are district districts. Okay, this is called the GPS, and we exit. Okay, another feature I need to tell you is that while you are driving, your wife is watching uh, TV, for example okay your wife is watching TV but you want to navigate uh -huh. then we have solutions it's called navigate while, uh, while navigate while entertainment okay for example you're watching TV okay we press this B to load the GPS navigation software My MSN is on. Sorry. Sorry. So, Matthew, I understand you've had some problems with your sleep. I, I, I cannot tell you anything, so uh, let me let, uh, let us finish our Navy game while watching TV. Okay, so now we uh, I need to turn on the so called uh, because we are we cannot drive now. Lah. We do some simulation. Round simulation. Right. Okay. You see? Okay, you are one with watching TV, but you can hear the voice navigation. So it's called navigation while entertainment. It's also a very unique feature for this one because he has a has a 256 
megabytes of RAM, and the processor is quite faster, so they can do the multitask without any lag, you see. Or if you want to see the map, you can ask your wife to pause, and you press the B button, it's still here. Switch, just press B. Yeah, back and forth. Uh huh. So good. Yes. Well, the voice navigation, the voice is on. The TV volume will be tuned down a little bit. Okay. I think everything is done. Okay. Let's see how the how the go. Hand free call or Let me call. Uh, yes, hi, hi, good to meet you. I've been expecting you. Great talking about. I don't want to snow. Maybe I can help you. Excellent. Let's walk. Fantastic. Let me call this. Uh, Aha! Uh -huh. The voice call coming. Answer. Hello, hello. Oh my god, my god. Let's hang on. Aha. So it works. Ah, see, the navigation is still on. Okay. Let's call it a day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.